Hello my fellow YouTubers and subscribers and welcome to my latest movie review where today I review Bullet Train directed by David Leitch, the same guy that directed Deadpool 2. Anyway, as for the movie, the plot is as follows. Five assassins aboard a fast-moving bullet train find out their missions have something in common. So, Bullet Train. Uh, a friend of mine was interested in seeing this movie um, a few days ago and he invited me along. So I said, yeah, all right, I'll go and see it. I was probably going to see it anyway, but the trailers to me looked, yeah, they looked fine, you know, <laughs> they looked they looked perfectly adequate, I didn't really have any any major opinion on, on them, and suffice to say, I didn't really care for this movie all that much. Look, I went into it with an open mind, but honestly, this movie bored the hell out of me. I know that this was just trying to be something fun, it wasn't trying to be anything, you know, majorly complicated or spectacular. But that's the problem. I think it tried too hard to be big <laughs> and spectacular and, um, you know, intricate with its narrative. For me, the biggest problem with the movie is that it's convoluted. I, I found the story threads to not really tie together as well as they should. And they're all explained in a very slapdash way. All of the plot revelations are explained in such a quick way that you find it kind of hard to follow. Well, I certainly did. And... I start to wonder which characters were there for what reason. Certainly the main female character um, in the in the film. The central girl played by Joey King, who plays the character of the prince. She's, um... She, yeah, uh, she's not that interesting. I didn't find her comp completely compelling, and I didn't understand really why she was doing what she was doing. I mean, if it was explained, it was explained at a, a point where I, I didn't follow it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was me, maybe I was a bit tired, but I, I tried to pay attention to the film as it went on, and the movie just really dragged for me. I just, I, I thought it was too long, and it, it, it didn't seem to go anywhere. It took ages for things to happen, and I know there's a lot of characters and a lot of plot lines to kind of come inside, but I just wasn't that entertained by it. I also felt like the comedy of this movie was really childish and it was really awkward the the whole joke about thomas the tank engine which seems to be repeated to death um by you know lemon and tangerine those characters that you know that was um yeah honestly not that funny and <laughs> it didn't it didn't really make me laugh all that much uh the funniest character in the film was probably aaron taylor johnson as tangerine he was good i liked his his attitude <laughs> with his character and Brad Pitt was pretty cool as Ladybug. You know, he's always a good leading man. You can rely on Brad Pitt. But the cast are great. We've got some really good cast members here. Um, you know, we've got Brad Pitt, Zazie Beetz, Logan Lerman, Michael Shannon. Yeah, Aaron Taylor-Johnson, Joey King, Andrew Koji, Karen Fukuhara. There's so many. There's, there's, there's loads of people. And they're, they're all good. Like, there isn't one bad performer in there but again like i said the momentum of this film is so slow considering it's a film called bullet train it didn't really exactly move like a bullet train and i get it the film was meant to stay in that setting for the whole story and i and i got that that was that was that was kind of cool i didn't mind that but nothing really happened in this movie there was a lot of bits that happened there was a load of good action sequences like the action was was great i loved the action it was all great fun there's a great fight scene between Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brad Pitt, um, which is one you see in the trailer where they get interrupted by the concession girl and he drinks the sparkling water. And the finale of the film is pretty crazy. <laughs> there's a lot of blood and and guts and, and there's a lot of violence, but it's all fun, you know. It's kind of done in that sort of Quentin Tarantino gratuitous fashion. It almost kind of feels like a sort of almost a watered down version of Quentin Tarantino's work, um, which is which is kind of nice. But again, the build-up was too long, and the storyline was kind of confusing, and by the end, I just got really bored, and I almost fell asleep during it. I hate to say that, but I did. I can't lie. Again, maybe the hot weather had something to do with it, but yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. I was really disappointed. There's loads of talking in this film. It just goes on forever. I mean, and the visuals aren't, aren't particularly good either. I, I thought that the CGI was kind of poor, <laughs> and it lacked any real sense of realism. You could so tell when there was green screen footage. And don't get me wrong, the movie's not devoid of comedy. Like there, is, there are some funny moments in it, but as a whole, I don't think it hangs together really well. I feel like it's quite rushed. 
it's 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 just kind of slappily put together although the best thing about the movie is the cinematography the movie looks beautiful wow it looks amazing the colors the the light the sunlight everything about the look of the movie i love and i think it looks incredibly colorful <laughs> and it's and it's fun i mean there are there are fun scenes in it don't get me wrong but other than the acting you know some of the fight scenes and the cinematography of the movie it's not great if i'm gonna be honest again the editor really needed to tighten up the story in order for me to well fully appreciate it let's just say that and there's this kind of um anime sort of style about it even though it's a live action movie they have like these like um like asian um chinese texts uh or japanese texts i should say with translations of the words so i guess they're trying to kind of you know <laughs> emulate some kind of anime uh style i don't know if this is based on an anime or if it's based on a book or something but yeah it was kind of cool to see that and i did like the style of the movie it certainly tried to be its own thing it didn't try to emulate anything else even though the plot which you would think would be quite basic because it's you know rolls around what's in this briefcase and everybody's on the train for various reasons but the movie just became unnecessarily complicated more so than it needed to be so my verdict is i i want to give it a pass but i just can't so i'm gonna have to score bullet train a five out of ten Yeah, I'm really sorry. I wanted to give it more. I wanted it to be at least decent, but sadly, it really dragged. <laughs> I would not watch. I would not watch it again, and I'm afraid I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. But that's my review of Bullet Train. What do you think of this film? Please comment down below. Let me know, and please hit the like and subscribe button for more content in the future. So until next time, I'm Mr. Tiles Eleven. Thank you for watching. See ya.